Hello, and thank you for joining the webcast on the Roland XS series, an incredible lineup of multi-format AV matrix switchers. My name is Rob, we're here in our Los Angeles studio, and I will be your host today as we take a closer look as to why the XS series is quickly becoming the number one choice for production rental companies. The XS series is an amazingly powerful tool for live production and presentations. And today we'll show you some of the powerful scaling capabilities, image processing, and cross-dissolve switching power, plus a whole lot more you wouldn't expect to find in a single unit. As a quick reminder, be sure to use the chat window to ask questions throughout the webcast. Our team members will be monitoring this window and answering your questions. And if for some reason you lose connection during this webcast, we will send a rebroadcast link shortly following the webcast. Let's take a look at these three great models and powerful features and see why the XS series has great ROI and why it's valued as a multiple event solution in one unit. All of the XS series have eight inputs. There's a two output model, a three output model, and a four output model. Let's take a look at some of the key features found in this XS series. On the input, there's scaling, color correction, and analog conversion to any of the outputs. Each input is also able to accept any of the common video resolutions up to 1080p, plus all common Visa computer resolutions. There's no need to convert and scale your sources before inputting them into the XS switcher. Aspect ratios and sources that don't line up correctly can easily be corrected. You can also send video up to four output destinations with independent choice of resolution available for each one, along with scaling choices, as well as cross-dissolve or straight-cut switching. There's multiple modes, up to 23 switching and screen processing modes, depending on the model of the XS. This represents tremendous ROI potential with the XS series because a single unit can provide an incredible number of presentation solutions for your clients. We also have remote control switching and setup by using our free Mac or PC software, a tablet, or you can control the XS series using our free iPad app. It also is a low latency switcher with less than two frames ensuring speedy image processing with very little lag time, perfect for iMag. It also has HDCP support as well as fast HDCP key management. This is especially important when switching HDCP content. It takes less than five frames to rekey the HDCP signal. And lastly, there's HD base T and HDMI outputs. More and more companies are switching to HD base T displays, screens, and projectors, allowing you to connect a single network cable to a display device up to 100 meters. Let's take a look at the physical connections of the XS84H. On the front panel, we have our video input indicators. We also have our matrix routing buttons. And then we have our switch mode button which allows us to switch based on audio and video input, or video only, or audio only, and also blue indicates our preset buttons. And then on our off button, it can also be a fade, a take button, or a freeze frame. We also have our audio meters, and then also a section with our LCD menu display and control to have access to all the menu functions. There are two USB ports. One port can be used for loading images, updating the system, or actually saving your settings. The other connection can be used for a wireless LAN adapter, so you can create an ad hoc network between your control device, like an iPad, and the XS series. Let's take a look at the back panel. We have eight HDMI or DVI-D inputs, as well as eight RGB, Component, S-Video, or Composite inputs. On the outputs, we have four HDMI, DVI-D, or HD base T outputs. On the audio inputs, we have eight stereo analog inputs, two with mic inputs that have phantom power. We also have eight audio inputs through the HDMI port. On the outputs, we have four stereo analog outputs, as well as audio that's embedded through the HDMI signal or HD base T. We also have RS232C control, as well as a LAN port so you can connect to your network and also control the XS series using your iPad. If you want SDI input, you can use the Roland VC1SH, which is a lossless video converter. Simply take an SDI in, converts it HDMI out, and you can input that into one of the 
inputs on the back of the XS series. There are up to 23 different modes for multiple applications. Let's take a look at some of these key modes. There's a matrix mode. The matrix mode allows individual routing of any of the eight inputs to any of the up to four output destinations. This provides the flexibility and speed that you need when you are switching live camera shots, computer inputs, and other video inputs to your destination screens. There is also a span mode. Span mode is ideal when you want to take a single image, camera, or video source and stretch it across two, three, or even four screens. The image processing power found in the XS series provides the visual control to create immersive and exciting visual environments. The next one is the rotate mode. We have four different rotation modes to accommodate screens or LED displays. In vertical positions, rotated 90 degrees, either left or right. This is especially great for video walls, digital signage, or special visual environments not found in traditional screen configurations. There's also a multi-mode, great for corporate and presentation applications, giving you the ability to use multiple windows using picture-in-picture. -picture. It keeps the audience engaged, it allows them to see multiple video sources on one screen, and you can control sizing, positioning, and switch output sources to the various windows in this mode. The last mode we'll take a look at is the program preset mode. This is one of the most powerful modes used in the XS series for event production. Depending on the XS model, you can have up to four different program preset modes. In the most common program preset mode, you can have one screen output, one preview monitor so that you can preview the video content before you switch, and a cross dissolving to that live screen. These are just a few of the many modes for multiple applications in live event production environments. Let's demonstrate some of these modes. Okay, let's look at a live production scenario using the program preset mode. So my back monitor is my program out. The monitor right behind the XS series is my preview monitor. The monitor to my left over here is the confidence monitor for the presenter. So let's take a look at what it looks like on the front panel. In my program preset mode, the output one is my program out. Output bus two is my for my preview monitor. Output three bus is for my confidence monitor. So what's really great is I'm able to preview a video source before I take it to the live screen. So say for example I'm bringing this person in from teleconferencing. So all I have to do is hit my take button and now that person will go to the output of that screen. And again I can set up maybe another shot, maybe I want to take this person and go to the output and I just hit enter and now it does a nice cross dissolve between those two video shots. So another really neat thing about the XS series is the ability to bring in analog signals. So let's take a look. I have an iPad coming in on input 5. Notice my input status is now red. That indicates that it is an analog signal coming in. So let's take a look at how I can make this uh, match up to the output. Notice that on my preview window I actually have these uh, guide lines here. That actually helps you to predict what your video is going to look at like before you go to the program out. Okay, so let's go into input 5 into the menu. And right now I'm going to go down to my scaling. As we mentioned, um, each input has scaling as well as horizontal and vertical position. And let's scale that up so that the top and bottom meet the guide. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go down to my um, horizontal position and let's make an adjustment to that to fill the screen. Notice how I've got it close to the guide. Okay, that looks pretty good. I want to take now my iPad output and put it to the live presentation. All I have to do is hit the output one button and it switches to my live presentation of the iPad. So uh, it's a great way, uh, the guide is a great way to seeing what your video content is going to look like before you take it to the screen. And because of the powerful features of the XS series, it has scaling both on the input and the output, I can make sure that all my video resolutions match before they go into the screen and when they go out to the screen as well. So let's take a look at some of the other uh, program preset modes. So I'm going to exit out of here and then I'm going to go down to the line 9 which stands for my modes and right now I'm in program preset mode. I'm going to click that button, enter and I just scroll through. This is a program preset 2 mode. So what that allows is I have two program buses and as you notice now line 3 on the output is illuminated white which means it's my preview bus. And then I also have program preset 3 mode where I have three output buses plus a preview bus as well. 
And I'm gonna show you one more mode, which I think is pretty cool as well. You actually have two preview buses and two output buses. These are some fantastic modes for live presentation production. Let's take a look at this quick video of some of the other modes we have. Let's talk about a few more modes in the XS series. Currently right now, I'm in matrix mode. What I wanna do is I wanna to go to span mode and what I'm able to do is take the XS series and stretch that video piece across two screens, that span two mode. I've set up a preset, so let's go there. And now I'm able to take the XS series video and stretch it across two screens. I can also go into my switching and I can switch video content across those two screens in span mode. Okay, let's take a look at the ability to take that video content and stretch it across three screens. It's very nice, but also notice here the S on the right hand side of this screen is not matching up correctly. That's because of the bezel. Let's take a look at a test pattern. You can see it a little bit more clearly what I'm talking about. Notice here in the upper corner and the lower corner on these diagonal lines, they don't match up correctly. That's because of the bezel. Good news is the XS series has bezel compensation. Bezel compensation adjusts for the width of the bezel so your picture maintains the correct aspect ratio. Bezel compensation is available in the following modes. Span 2, 3, and 4, rotation left, right, 2, left, right, 4, 4K1, and 4K2. Adjustments are made in the width from pixels from minus 1,000 to plus 1,000. In the 4K mode, the side widths are adjusted in pixels, the vertical widths in lines. Let's look at the result of what bezel compensation can do on our test pattern. I've already set up one of my presets. I simply select it. And notice how my diagonal lines actually match up together. That's what bezel compensation can do for you. Let's take a look at back at the matrix mode. I've already set up a preset to go back into matrix mode. Notice when I go from span three to matrix, it is simply a smooth operation. That is built into the XS series, which is great for live production environments. You can use multi-modes in the same environment without having to worry about shutting down and that type of thing. Okay, so simply let's go to the matrix mode. I am able to switch camera to camera sources. Let's say on output three, I wanna to adjust to graphics. Really, really simple to do matrix mode. One of the cool features that we've added in version 3.0 is in the panel operation to go from a single tap to a double tap. What double tap allows you to do is pre-select your outputs before you actually take them. So simply what I do is go to the panel operation, go from single tap mode to double tap mode, and now what I'm able to do is go into my output one, select a different camera source, output two, select maybe a different camera source, and output three, maybe I wanna select my rolling graphic. So notice I have these three buttons lit and blinking. All I have to do is tap one of those, and now all three screens will switch at the same time. This is a great feature, so you don't actually have to do three button presses at the same time. The last feature I wanna talk about in panel operations is the ability to link outputs. So for example, I want to set up on output three, that's my preview monitor. So anything that I set up on output three, I want to link to output one. So let me go up to my double tap mode and go back to single tap mode. And I go my output three, and I wanna link that to my output one. So anything I select on output one is gonna match on output three. So say for example, I go to output one and select a different camera source. Both of those sources follow together. This is a great way of not having to press, again, two buttons at the same time. So again, this is the span and the matrix mode plus some panel operations. Welcome back. And before we look at some of the remote control applications using the XS series, let's talk about the multi-modes. This is the last mode we're gonna to cover today in the XS series. So for some corporate applications, uh, you want to show multiple video outputs on one screen. Let's take a look at some of those examples. For example, we have a presenter with his presentation up in a window. Maybe another scenario might be you have two people coming in teleconferencing and you want to show them to your live studio audience. This is a great example of how you can set up your picture in picture windows with the cropping, the sizing, and the positioning. This is great for uh, teleconferencing applications. Let's take a look at the last one, and that's a multi mode four. You notice that we have a background image and we have three different windows we have two presenters and the presentation uh, application. As we mentioned earlier, you have the ability to size and change horizontal position and crop. Let's take a look at how you do that. So let's look at the market report. Um, I can go into here, hit enter, and I can actually change the size of that. 
or if I wanted to, I can actually go in and change the horizontal position as well. So very, very powerful for live presentation applications, the ability to have multiple video sources on one screen. Next, let's take a look at the remote control application. So I have here an iPad with our free remote control software. So I am connected from the iPad to the XS84 using a wireless LAN adapter. And I'm just creating an ad hoc network between my iPad app and the XS84. For me to demonstrate this, I want to plug this in so you can actually see the full screen of the application. So let's do that. Okay, with our remote control application, you can see um, that I have uh, the ability to recall some presets. So I can go to my presentation preset, my conference preset, or even my multi-window preset. And lastly, you have the ability to also change uh, video inputs to your outputs. Say for example, on the left-hand side of the screen here, I'm able to change between camera one and camera two. So very, very powerful. Um, you can control this uh, offline or you can control it online. You can set up your parameters, you can label your channels of your video inputs, and you can label all your preset channels as well. Very, very easy application. And we're really excited to share with you, um, in new, the version 3.0 software, um, we actually have a remote control software for both Mac and Windows. Let's go take a look at that. Notice how the switching panel looks exactly like the front panel of the XS. Simply push the input source to your destination to switch. Let's take a look at the video and audio block diagrams. This is a great way to set up the XS series offline without having to access the front panel controls and a great way to see your signal flow from input to output. Let's double click on the input block diagram. And you can see my eight different video inputs. I can select a physical connection or assign a still image to that. I also have my ability to uh, crop and zoom and change my horizontal and vertical positions. Let's look at the output as well. Notice I have my four different outputs. I can select my physical outputs or auto. I also have the ability to do my cropping and my zooming and my horizontal and vertical positions. Lastly, I have the ability to also adjust my modes. So I can click from the drop down menu here and see my matrix mode, my multi mode, et cetera, et cetera. Again, this is a great way to access the XS series without having to touch the front panel. The RCS software will be available for both Mac and PC. As you can see, the XS series is a powerful tool for live production. With some of these key features, it offers tremendous ROI for anybody doing live event production. And just a reminder, some of these features that we showed you today are found in version 3.0, available in December. For more information, for pricing, to even test drive an XS series, be sure to check out our website for more information at proav.roland.com. Thank you for watching.